all passengers flying with us today from all across the globe, all across the world. Today, I invite you to soar with me across the skies as we embark on our new journey to finally get our pilot's license here on Flight Simulator. I want to thank you for those of you, 100,000 plus of you passengers on the last flight session. If you are here today, welcome back. And for those of you that are flying with us today for the very first time, welcome to Hollow Flights. I'm actually still a pilot learning, so I, I'm, I'm trying my best here. If by any unfortunate circumstances, some of you were not able to make it on the last flight, we pretty much learned how to fly an aircraft for the very first time ever. We learned how to get off the ground, level out attitudes and stuff like that. We also learned how to land an aircraft. There is a lot to learn in Flight Simulator, but we are here for the journey, for the laughs, and hopefully you guys can sit back, relax. Unfortunately, there are no TVs in this flight, but hopefully I am your form of entertainment here today. So again, thank you for joining Hollow Flights. Yeah, that's that's all I got for the intro, guys. I'm so <laughs> I don't even know what this is. A sailor's hat? I don't I don't know what this is. It's 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 Call of Duty related. I threw it on. I thought, hey, it's been a long time since we played the part in a game. If you think this is crazy, you haven't seen anything yet. We've done some crazy things here in the past. Um, I, I've even dressed up playing Injustice. It, it's kind of embarrassing, but you know what? It's all part of the game. We've dressed up as Santa Claus. We, we've done a lot of costumes over the years, and I feel like I used to do this more often here in the channel. But I do feel like this this flight simulator deserves it, it just deserves all my attention right now. You know what I mean? It's it's really really fun, and I just want to have fun with it. So today we're gonna be. By the way, Microsoft told me that I have a yoke on the way. So maybe in a couple of days here we'll be able to actually connect all that stuff and really really fly and soar across the skies with actual proper controls right today we're going to be learning about traffic patterns on the last episode we did all the four basic trainings up top the basic controls attitudes and instruments takeoff and level flight and the landing now we have traffic pattern solo flight navigation and solo navigation so it's gonna be really exciting okay and uh we're just gonna get straight into it and see how far we get in today's session so for this training up in the air safety is key and this training session covers the process we're following a standard traffic pattern from initial climb to final approach and to the traffic pattern safely navigate each leg of the pattern maintain visual contact with the airfield know where to expect other air traffic and how to avoid it let's be honest no one likes going around in circles unless you're a pilot training on traffic patterns sedona's standard traffic pattern follows a 1000 foot altitude around the main runway by the time we're through here you'll know how to complete the full run from takeoff to landing. So let's get started. Let's get started. And I'm so happy, like I cannot wait to get this yoke already. It cannot arrive here soon enough. Like this joystick on this controller is slightly tilted to the right and it, it just messes me up. My plane is constantly drifting to the right and it's the most annoying thing holding it centered or slightly to the left. I'm telling you, it's, it's horrible. I mean, we're flying planes here. This is like out of all things in the world, this is the most important thing where everything has to be exceptionally well. Like everything has to be top notch. I mean, we're not playing with Barbies here. Okay, this this is flying aircrafts. This is no joke. Okay, Good taking off. Keep us aligned with the runway and climb to 5,400 feet. See how it drifts me to the right? We're going for a left-hand traffic pattern. All right, we're going up. Left-hand traffic pattern. All right, we got to go to 5,400 feet and maintain 67 knots. All right, 5,400 feet. We're at 51 right now. Yep. Oh my god. 5,400. Almost up there. That's the runway. Reaching 53. Once we reach altitude, you're going to start turning left 90 degrees toward a 122 degree heading. Okay, we're in the pattern. Get ready to Left, enter right, the crosswind yeah. section. Good. Keep going till you reach the traffic pattern altitude of 5,700 feet. Ready to make your left turn downwind? 
When the runway appears at the halfway point of your wing strut, you'll know you're at a good glide distance. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, so we have to reach 5,700. I think we're there. 56 and a half? Yep, 57. Almost there. We've got the wind at our back now. We're on the right track. Perfect. Lower your nose to a cruise attitude and reduce power to 2100 RPMs. Once your speed is in the white arc, add 10 degrees of flaps to prep us for landing. Now's not a bad time to check if the runway is looking good. Okay, flaps. And it probably goes without saying, always watch out for other planes entering or exiting the pattern. 2100 RPMs. Okay, a little bit more. We're at 20. Got the flaps, 30 degrees. All right, 2100 RPM. Need to rev it a little bit more. There we go. We're at 5900 feet. The trim a little higher. A little higher on the trim. We go see how it just it literally just turns itself to the right it's so annoying okay we got this so we just got to maintain ourselves all the way until we reach the uh base turn marker 45 degrees on the base that's when you start making the turn and i, I would assume that's where it's going to be right on that marker right. reduce power to idle to start losing altitude and maintain cruise attitude Keep an eye on the runway as we get ready for our final turn. That'll also keep our speed around 65 knots. Start losing power a little bit. Okay. Perfect. I think. Here we go. The runway's in full view. Make sure to keep the plane centered on approach. If you're too high, add flaps. Too low, add power to maintain the glide path. Okay. Here we are. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that was a bumpy road. <laughs> a bumpy landing. <laughs> it's okay, guys. This is first day on the job. You know, that was that was decent. That was not half bad. Maybe in real life, that probably would have broken your head with the roof of the freaking... We're not here. Nope, not here. No, sir. Okay, apply the brakes, right? Brakes was Y. Way to stick the landing. Now, just apply the brakes to slow your roll. And make sure you don't stop on the runway, of course. Oh, no? If other planes are looking to land, we've got to move. Take one of the taxiways on the right. Oh, snap. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to make this much lower. Yeah, apply the brakes. Hold on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so we have to kind of play with the engine now. Okay. Lower it. Much lower. Here we go. Good job. As an old instructor said to me, not only did you not die, you're really learning to fly. <laughs> Good. All right. Dude, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> Took off the runway. Take off. Reach 5400 feet. Maintain 67 knots. Turn left on the uh, joint traffic pattern. Downwind leg for base leg. Final approach. Runway 21. Complete. Warning. Do you want to go to the next activity? Of course. Your first solo flight. Oh. 
I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me. <laughs> but something tells me you won't. Your goal is to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic pattern on your own. Remember what we covered in our previous sessions, and you'll be just fine. <sighs> All right, here we go. Good luck. We got See this. On the other side. Yeah, sure, whatever, coach. We got this. Okay. Totally got this. We've done this. Done this before. All right. It's time to start taking off. Feels weird not having her here, even though she's just an artificial intelligence type of voice. It just feels weird she's not here. Reach 5,400 feet. Okay. Here we go. We're at 51 right now, reaching 51. There we go. Five thousand. Oh my god. Let's go a little higher. Just a little bit. Fifty three hundred. Fifty three hundred, there we go, reaching the fifty four hundred. It's time to start turning left. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to keep going here. Maintain. Turn left for the down one leg, of course. Now, we'll start turning. Hopefully, we can reach 5,700 feet. There we go. Once we have the uh, runway at our 45 degree angle, not 45 degree, at our left, left hand side, we are good for cruising. Okay. Perfect. And we are at 5,800 feet at the moment, so this is pretty good. This is pretty freaking good. Okay, we got this. There we go. Yep, there it is. We totally got this. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. Look at us fly, boys. <laughs> Look at us fly. Okay, let me go in third person. Just make sure everything is clear. Make sure to check the runway. No airplanes. What happens if there's like an airplane landing? What do you do? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta turn around again, right? It is crazy. The fact that we've managed to get these aircraft to turn and, and fly in the air is absolutely insane. Okay, we're going too high now. About 45 degree. That's the 45 degree signal. Okay. Start bringing the nose down a little bit. All right, 2100 RPMs. If I remember correctly. <gasps> oh no. A little bit too wide. Okay, all good. Oh my goodness. All right, F8 for the flaps. Gotta remember the flaps. Oh my god. so slightly hey we did it we freaking did it <laughs> let's go we freaking did it 
Alright. Start breaking here. Oh, maybe we can turn on this one. There we go. Great job. There's always room for improvement. That's life, right? <sighs> you did it all on your own. You're on your way to becoming one hell of a pilot. Dude, this must be so exciting for people that are going through like uh through pilot school right now. This must be super, super like amazing for them. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. All right, so our next one says uh, next training flight navigation. I've always said flying is freeing, open skies, endless possibilities, but to fully enjoy it, you need to be prepared. We're going to focus this lesson on navigation prep and procedures, the fundamentals of getting from point A to point B. Step one, putting some distance between us and the ground. Take off. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, I guess we're gonna go from point A to point B now. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, this is literally crazy. All right, so we're gonna have to reach 5,400. Right, now, keep climbing around the airport until we reach 5,800 feet. <clears throat> 5,800. Oh my goodness. I'm around the airport. So do I have to kind of keep going in circles until we reach the altitude? Okay, 5,500, 5,600. Hopefully this 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 uh, destination is actually this way so we don't have to turn around again. Okay, keep going up. It goes without saying, but good navigation starts with good departure prep. Let's set up the aircraft for the first leg of your trip. Okay, set cruise altitude. Okay, I forgot how to do that. I think it was the trim, right? Was it the there we go. Check. Perfect. Now for your heading. Attitude. When you need to set and maintain a heading. Want to rely on your heading indicator. Compasses are prone to errors, especially during turns or while accelerating or decelerating. Go ahead and position your plane above the airport. Position aircraft above the runway? What? Okay. <clears throat> Validate the time. That's a fancy way of saying start the clock. Oh my god. Reset. Okay. On the nav log, you can <laughs> see our next waypoint, Munns Park, is at a 41 degree heading about five minutes away. Navigating is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate, but if you track the time flown from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. All right, so it's time to head that way. We wow. We speed can increase or decrease depending on the wind. That's why at your next waypoint, you'll want to compare your estimated time en route with the actual time flown. Validate your estimate and your progress. 
Okay. 21, what is it? 21 miles? Is that what? That's not 21 miles. Alright, so Munns Park. Yeah, this thing is a little annoying here, like on in the way. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh my god! Jesus! Man, I opened that freaking menu and my whole plane went to hell! <laughs> okay, okay, we're back, we're back, right? I was trying to. Alright, you know what? I'm not even gonna touch that. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep flying here. Alright. crazy you can just see everything insane it's like you're really flying it's awesome okay so I think our flaps are doing a-okay or they're going a little too high yeah I think I think our flaps need to go a little or not our flaps are trim Trim needs to go a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think this is a good, this is a good spot here. You see how it just drifts to the right? If I were to let it go, it, it'd probably just be stationary like this. I wanted to take this moment to thank all my passengers. I want to thank you for flying with us today. It's been, uh, a great learning process for both you and I, except for those of you who are professionals in real life. But uh, I just wanted to say I am very grateful to be able to fly you across Sedona, Arizona, from the airport all the way through Munns Park. Now, of course, I know it's not the craziest of flights, but the fact that we're here gathered today, flying from the airport to Munns Park means a lot to me, and I just wanted to quickly, uh, show you guys my appreciation so sit back relax and uh enjoy the flight yeah so you can use uh well you have to use the keyboard no matter what that's one thing that i've realized that even if you get the yokes controls and stuff like that like you have to use your keyboard for certain things and i mean it, it, it kind of makes sense i didn't really think about it like that but when you realize how many things you have on a plane like, there's no way you could do everything with just one uh source of control it's impossible way way too many things considering that in this game every single button does something but anyhow we're here as you close in on flagstaff pulliam airspace next step is setting up to enter the traffic pattern we've got clearance okay. to enter the downwind leg and land on runway 21 keep your attitude then follow the standard pattern Okay, here we go. Enter the downwind leg. Yo, some of these tutorials are pretty long. Like, I thought I was going to be able to do this whole portion in one episode, but no. You realize that you're here for a while. I can't wait to see the other planes. The other planes are the ones that have, like, crazy crazy interiors i mean this is pretty much basic in comparison to well, not basic i mean i don't know i want to say that this in comparison to the other planes is a lot more simple lower your nose to a cruise attitude and reduce your power base turn 2100 2100 let's keep 2100 Lower your nose. Power should be at idle now, so you're losing altitude while maintaining cruise attitude. Okay, so final turn right here. 
there's so much things to learn here. It's, it's literally crazy. Finally, a landing on runway 21, and we'll call this one done. Alrighty. Okay, I'll press F8 for my flaps. we go guys hopefully we can do this oh my goodness oh my god I think I'm a little low increase the power Closer to the bottom. Wow, smooth, baby. Let's go. GTA San Andreas taught me that, okay? Just saying. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna break here. VFR flight in the books. Not bad. Not bad at all. Man, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. I think this is the perfect spot to end this episode. These flights are pretty long, and of course, rightfully so. There's a lot of things that you have to take into, into consideration. And funny thing is, when I get the, uh, the yoke, I'm going to have to do all of these things again. I might do them off camera just so I can not repeat the videos but i definitely am gonna have to do all the tutorials again because you know it's gonna be different i've never used that before i know i said i was going to finish the tutorial or the, the pilot license session if you will but these last couple of training sessions have been extremely long and um, i will edit some of it out but we do have to do the last solo navigation which probably will be maybe the same thing i'm not too sure but uh I guess we'll find out on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want more Flight Simulator, again, there is no end or beginning in this series. It's just flying here and there, trying all different planes and just having fun. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you later.